Hey everyone, this is uh, Celador making another video here. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about libertarianism and, and libertarians and how I feel about that. Um, YouTube has a has a pretty large libertarian community. Um, there are a lot of libertarian atheists, uh, libertarian scientists, and um, this is this is sort of a, a half reply video to to Captain Awesome's video called "The Second Biggest Lie Ever Told," where he discusses um, stem cell research and um, the the quote unquote ban. <laughs> um, so let me just uh, jump right in here. Uh, Captain Awesome, you know, claims that that there is actually no ban on stem cell research. That that's kind of a creation of, of the media or, or the liberals or something like that. And, and he's actually right. Uh, there is no ban. There there is a ban on on embryonic stem cell research, which is a form. And most scientists agree that that embryonic stem cell research is is probably the most promising form of of stem cell research and so you know although although we may be putting in in millions of dollars into stem cell research maybe if we don't fund embryonic stem cell research nothing will, will ever come of that at all um, but you know that aside um, you you kind of make the argument well um, you know the the federal government doesn't doesn't pay you for drinking beer, and I think you just threw that in there to be funny, and, and it was pretty funny. But um, you're kind of making a point here, um, which is you know that we shouldn't bitch about it anyway. I mean, the federal government you know is already funding stem cell research; it doesn't even have to. It's the federal government that'll fund lots of shit, um, you know. But obviously, you you drinking beer doesn't save a whole lot of people. I don't know, maybe a few. Uh, but the, the problem with your argument uh, also is that you can kind of use it to to argue against funding any stem cell research at all, couldn't you? I mean, I mean, why is it the, the federal government's job to to fund you know science, uh, scientific research? Um, the, the problem is that that stem cell research is is just in its infancy. It doesn't have a a tangible consumer product that that it's definitely going to produce it could it could produce nothing it, it could it could just be a flop or you know it could be the, the greatest medical tool that that humanity has ever seen we we simply don't know the answer yet and and rich white you know medical technology companies pharmaceutical companies the, the board of, you know these rich white board of directors they've actually fucking put down 500 million dollars of their own money on on something which which could you know turn out to be nothing you know, that's just not a wise investment. It's too fucking risky. And, you know, while a little bit of, of private money has been put into stem cell research, uh, not very much because, you know, it, it, there's just, you know, there's there's just no tangible consumer product that has come up yet. And, and so, and so, what what, in order to, you know, Scientists have determined that that stem cell research is incredibly promising, and and so how do you, how do you, how do you get stem cell research to the point where you know that it will produce a good technology? Well, you need to fucking fund it. You need to fund it with the federal government. That's the only way to do it. You need the government to fund science for science sake, and this is the heart of why I don't like libertarianism. Libertarians, to me anyway, th this is the way that, that I've seen it and been told, would, would want to do with all public goods, you know, except for, you know, the very most necessary ones, the fire department, the, the police department, um, you know, <laughs> the National Guard, the military, you know, these, these are, 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 you know, the, the only things they would do away with public schools, they would, they would do away you know, with, with anything else besides just those bare bones necess public good necessities. And, and and this is why I have a problem with it. I mean, you know, this seems to go against a lot of libertarians or scientists. I've heard Captain Nossum say himself, you know, in a video, so, so goes science, so goes the nation. And I fucking 100% agree. I mean, it, but, you know, and then you, you turn around and you, 
you know, kind of make this, you know, subtle point of, well, that it's it's federal tax dollars going to scientific research, which, you know, you know, maybe not everyone supports or, or you know, it's a, it's a public good that's unnecessary, right? It's, I mean, it's, uh, that's, that's sort of the argument that I think pe people would make. And that's why I, I can't be for libertarian. That's what I have against libertarianism. A hundred years ago, when, when Maxwell and a, and a ton of other scientists were studying electromagnetic spectrum, um, guess where they got their money to, to do research? The federal government. And guess what? They discovered all sorts of good shit. And, and then we have microwaves. You know, they, that's the problem, that, that no private company would ever fund them to, to study electromagnetic radiation. Because, I mean, who knew that, that in, in, in 80 years, you know, we, we'd have a box that could heat a, like, you know, a fucking hot pocket in, in two minutes. These are the kinds of things that, that could come out of, you know, science for science sake. They always do. And, and even if they don't, you know, human as a species, as, you know, as a whole, their knowledge has increased. I think that's arguably, you know, just as good of a benefit. And, and maybe I'm wrong about this, you know, maybe some people should correct me if, um, if, if you feel that libertarians would support scientific research for, for simply for knowledge's sake. 